McAvoy plays it in. And it's headed clear. Mike Ford for Karen Duggan. Played out to Ryan Doyle, the league's top scorer. Plays it in towards Saif Doyle. Saif Doyle! Yeah. And it's the opening goal here at PRL Park. Saif Doyle with the finish. What would you make of that goal, Megan? Great play by Ryan Doyle and then finish well by Saif Doyle. Yeah, really good play by Piemont. Um, just before uh, Derby made that run down the line, couldn't leave much to the goal. You could hear Karen Duggan uh, giving instructions out to the girls on the pitch to make them runs into the channels. And as you see, see in there, Lana made a really good run uh, for Derby and uh, picked up the ball down the line, go cross and down the line to Sive Doyle. Here's Sive Doyle. Great ball to Derby Burn. Here's Derby Burn takes on the defender. Crosses it in, yeah. and it's 2 0. It's Eleanor Ryan Doyle with the header, and she gets her 13th goal of the season. Great play there, Megan, and a great finish by Ryan Doyle as usual. Uh, brilliant play by Pima. I was actually just watching Eleanor a minute ago, and I was looking at her when she got on the ball uh, just before the goal, and I thought she was going to have a shot, but Eleanor's a very unselfish player, and I think. Um, as you can see, she played the ball out to Sive, and Sive played a really good ball out to Derby Burn, a good ball into the box, and Eleanor was in the right area at the right time to get that. Here comes Parbat, drives forward with it for Treaty. Bit of space now, played forward towards Cronin, and it's a goal for Treaty straight away. Boy, Aoife Cronin. Making a fantastic response by Treaty, you have to say. Absolutely. Um, I think if you go 2 0 down the game, some game or some teams can kind of go down themselves after that. But Treaty have reacted really well to it and just just got a goal. And like we spoke about the transition attack so many times in this game. And uh, it was that was a prime example of it there. And Eva Cronin used her pace really well and because she worked. She worked really hard on her own up tops in the first half, and it's causing Pima a few problems. The two of them are picking up pockets of space to get on the ball and get in behind. And just as I speak now, Alana's through and I'm running goal. Can I finish? Brilliant finish by Alana. Well done. Three win for the Brilliant finish by Alana McAvoy. A great goal by Alana McAvoy to make it 3 1 and regain P Mount's two goal advantage. Great pressure though, Megan, to, to win the ball back. Yeah, brilliant by Alana there. We know what Alana can do. We mentioned it earlier about her aggressiveness off the ball and her physicality, and she's done really well there to nick the ball off the treaty centre half. And Finds out Gorman, who plays it forward to Watkins. Fade away though, by Parbat. Derby Burn, I keep it in though. Here's Derby Burn. Towards that back post. Here's Ryan Doyle. Yes! And it's 4-1, two P-mounts. Ryan Doyle with her second of the day. And P-mount fourth. Another goal by Ryan Doyle. That's why she's the league's top goal scorer. Absolutely, and even coming from a, a deeper position today, she seems to be uh, dropped back into midfield today. She's still picking up them pockets of space um, in around the penalty spot to get her to get herself in a position to score and that's what Eleanor does so well it's her movement in around in around the box and so Tegan Rudy will take the corner Rudy plays it in towards Duggan and it's in it's Karen Duggan who gets a head on it on it and makes it 5-1 to P-Mount you must be delighted for Karen Duggan there, Megan. <laughs> oh, no, in fairness to Karen Duggan, uh, she's one of our standout players the last few years. Uh, she's that anchor in midfield for us, and I think the goal is coming particularly from corners. Um, Tegan Rudy has been putting in great deliveries all game, and Tree United have defended really well, so it's great to see Karen eventually getting her head on it. Um, so there'll be a bit of bantering after.